Testing one, two.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise for the singing of our national anthem by our senior choir. Good evening, everyone, and welcome, especially to those of you at home on the live stream. Thanks to Mr. Horn, our amazing technology teacher, and many others, this event is being live streamed at home for those who can't be here. So if you want to wave to your family members, Mr. Horn can pan the crowd, and we have a fixed camera to the left as well. So thank you, Mr. Horn. Welcome, everyone, to the graduation exercises for the Bristol Central High School Class of 2021. For those of you who don't know me and are probably tired of hearing my automated phone calls and emails, I'm Pete Winninger, the proud principal of this great school. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> who let my mother in? She didn't have a ticket. Before we get started, I want to point out our ushers this evening dressed in the green shirts. Would you guys all wave? If you have any needs this evening or if we have to leave the building for some reason, please follow the ushers' directions. And if you need any assistance at all, please see an usher. They have green shirts. We have a number of dignitaries in attendance this evening, and I'd like to welcome all of them. Our mayor, Ellen Zappo Sasu. <laughs> Dr. Catherine Carbone, superintendent of schools. And you guys can wave too. Dr. Michael Dieter, deputy superintendent of schools. Jen Doobie, Chair of the Board of Education. Allison Wodowski, Board of Ed Commissioner. Dr. Sam Galloway, Bristol Public Schools Office of Talent Management. Carly Fortin, Director of Teaching and Learning. City Council members, Peter Kelly, Scott Rosato, Dave Proleski, and Brittany Barney. and Bristol Public Schools Superintendent Emeritus, Dr. Michael Wasta. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to point out our junior marshals this evening, Hannah Kruger and Martina Jagelski. As the top two ranked juniors, they would normally have been leading our procession this evening. Congratulations to you both, and we look forward to you leading next year. There are a number of people who have worked incredibly hard to make sure we had a graduation experience this evening that I'd like to recognize. Special thank yous to Dr. Carbone and Dr. Dieter and the members of the district leadership team for navigating through the past year and a half. I'd like to thank Mr. Andy Ingbertson and his custodial staff for setting up for this event. Mrs. Carrie Alderi and her secretarial staff for arranging and distributing the caps and gowns and diplomas and tickets and dealing with every other last minute issue that arose. Mrs. Jen Plourd and Mr. Dave Nelson for preparing the speaking and musical performances this evening. I'd like to thank my assistant principals, Mr. Broderick and Mr. Sinatra, for their continued dedication to our students, especially for their professionalism during the most difficult year.
I'd like to recognize and say farewell to three teachers who retired this year, Mrs. Ann Jones, Mrs. Lori Lavoie, and Mr. Bill Vaughn. Thanks for everything you've done for our students, and best of luck in retirement. In a year of uncertainty, I must thank the caring and flexible faculty and staff of Bristol Central, many of whom are here tonight, for all their efforts to maintain connections with our students during an unprecedented time in school history. Thank you for all your kindness and compassion. I know, I skipped a few pauses. I'm confusing you. I get it. Finally, I'd like to thank all of you, students and parents. Your understanding and patience during an unpredictable year was exceptional. We are very appreciative of the way you took things in stride. It made our jobs a little bit easier. Thank you. The theme of tonight's graduation is when things don't go as planned. I'm waiting now for the tornado alert. The artwork on tonight's program was created by the very talented Janelle Emanuel. Emanuel. Janelle, would you stand up and give everybody a wave, please? Amazing work. Amazing work and so incredibly fitting for tonight's program. I have to say that it was based on a, a nice photograph that Mr. Sinatra took one lovely morning at Bristol Central High School. He likes rainbows. The class of 2021 will be forever known for their ability to adjust plans. They've had to pivot many times during the school year in an attempt at normalcy. I'll always be grateful for the way you persevered. Before moving on to our program, I'd like to take a moment to recognize our graduates who are currently enlisted to serve in the armed forces. They'll be wearing red, white, and blue tassels on their caps tonight, signifying their intentions to serve our country. When I call you, please stand and remain standing. Austin Frev. <laughs> Cole Hogan. <laughs> and Somerin Kiev. Remember that feeling, it's gonna to get tough in a couple weeks, boys. <laughs> Congratulations and thank you for your service. At this time, I'd like to introduce the mayor of Bristol, Mrs. Ellen Zappo Sasu, with her welcome. Good evening. On behalf of the City Council, many of whom are here to my left, I'd like to thank you for including us tonight. This has been a tumultuous year. And to be positive is something that has been very difficult, but you've made it. It's important to put this into perspective and remember that good days bring happiness. Bad days give you experience. Worst days give you life lessons. And the best days give you memories, which hopefully today will be for you. C.S. Eliot Lewis, who is the author of the Chronicles of Narnia, once said, you can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. So when the narrative of the class of 2021 is written, it should not be a story of struggle, but it should be a story of resilience and perseverance, because that's what you exhibited over the last 15 months. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. With greetings from the Board of Education, please welcome Dr. Catherine Carbone, Superintendent. Before I begin my remarks, I want to have an opportunity to practice something with you. Tonight, we are going to say the class of 2021. And as we have heard from your principal, you have outdone yourselves with perseverance, steadfastness and dedication. So every time you hear class of 2021, we give you full permission to be as loud and proud as possible. 2021! <laughs> I, like, 
little competition. We'll see if you can be louder than the other side of town. Let's see. Good evening. I would like to begin by welcoming Mayor Ellen Zappo Sasu, City Councilman, Chair Jennifer Duby, the Bristol Board of Education members, our Bristol Public Schools community, our families, and most importantly, Bristol Central's Class of 2021. <laughs> the past 15 months have been challenging, especially for you, our scholars. In the face of change and adversity, you have remained determined, focused, and have inspired us to be better. Graduates, you are in a class all of your own, and today is your day. Families and loved ones, you are probably wondering where the years have gone. As you marvel at your child's accomplishments, it doesn't seem that long ago when these young adults we honor today were trundling off to kindergarten. As superintendent of Bristol Public Schools, I, along with my administration, teachers, and staff of Bristol Central, thank you for taking on the demanding job of being engaged in your child's education and your child's first teacher. The importance of your support is immeasurable. To the staff and administration of Bristol Central High School, each of you has persevered and sacrificed in ways this year we could never have expected. Your efforts in the face of adversity have been nothing shy of extraordinary. And to the class of 2021, You graduate today in a time in history when we need insightful, inquisitive, and motivated young adults to serve as change agents and leaders in every facet of our society. Let the last 15 months of your high school career remind you that together you are bonded by a shared identity, a shared identity of firsts and of ingenuity. Your class has transformed education the way we think about teaching and learning, about where teaching and learning takes place, and how teaching and learning is delivered. As you leave the halls of Bristol Central, I share with you four pieces of advice. Believe in your abilities. Do not let anyone tell you that you can't or you are not good enough, especially yourself. Be right-minded and decent. Be careful with your words, be careful with your actions, and be careful with your heart. Say you're sorry when you hurt someone, own your mistakes and make amends, and show compassion for yourself and others. You are part of a Ramley tradition. You are part of a Ramley legacy. Remember, Ramley members take care of one another and their community. Be curious, ask questions. By being curious, you will be able to see new worlds, have new experiences, and experience other possibilities that only some dream of. Never stop learning, as we need you, creative innovators, to think differently and challenge the status, status quo. And lastly, find your people. Surround yourself with people who motivate you, support you, look after you, and bring value to your life. Most importantly, find people who fill your heart with joy and happiness. You are a unique and special group of individuals. Whatever course your future takes, it is my hope that your path is paved with many successes. Collectively, you have made a lasting impression on the halls of Bristol Central High School, and I am certain we are stronger as a school district because of your accomplishments. Well done, class of 2021. With greetings from the Board of Education, please welcome Board Chair and BC Mom, Jen Doobie. Sorry, I'm really short. Good evening, everyone. As Chairwoman of the Bristol Board of Education, and on behalf of the entire board, it is an honor for me to be here tonight 
to recognize all of your hard work and offer our congratulations to the Bristol Central High School Class of 2021. Tonight, 263 seniors are graduating from Bristol Central. 263 young adults are entering a new chapter in their lives, full of promise and potential. This school year was met with many challenges and frequent changes. You students rose above them all. You are all overcomers. Our school district has high academic standards that you all have had to learn and master to obtain your diploma. We have a dedicated staff who have been there to guide you and challenge you, both in the classroom and behind the computer screen. You have family and friends who place a high priority on your education and have been there to assist and support you. All of these have played a part in you becoming the graduate today. You have demonstrated through hard work, dependability, and dedication that you are ready to begin the next part of the journey that life has in store for you. Accept nothing but the best for yourselves, every day. You are moving on, but will forever be part of the Ramily. Remember to continue to be creative, be conscientious, be collaborative, and be committed. I salute your success. You have met the challenges of today, which are preparing you for a world full of hope and oftentimes uncertainty. Continue to stretch and extend your abilities and never stop dreaming. Stay safe, stay well, and may God bless the graduating class of 2021. To read her class poem titled, The Year Things Didn't Go As Planned, please welcome to the podium the lovely and talented Damani Huff. I guess you all decided to show up. <laughs> um, my poem is called The Year That Things Didn't Go As Planned. Oh my God, I'm shaking. Uh, one second. Okay, here we go. I plan to paint my face for my last pep rally. I plan to turn to an ice cube for the last Thanksgiving game. I plan to finally catch a Festivus tea. I plan to be close to my friends, I plan for spring weather in April. I plan to drink water without first pulling my mask down. Safe to say, plans fail. It's safe to say plans fail because rarely can we predict our future. It is not common that we can anticipate things going very, very wrong. A good meme will tell you it's still fun to try though. Our situation is much more manageable when we can learn to laugh at these moments. When I think of my last high school years, I'll laugh. I'll look at my prom pictures and chuckle at my mask. I'll find humor in the long list of inside jokes in Mr. Q's class. I'll hysterically laugh at the times Mr. McCabe made a joke on a Wednesday and got crickets. <laughs> I'll find humor in the times we trolled Mr. Ellison when he was teaching from home. What you can't anticipate isn't always a bad thing. I didn't plan to learn motivation without accountability. I didn't plan to have time to become more self-aware. I didn't plan to value the things I observe of people. I didn't plan to learn resilience and independence. I certainly couldn't plan for the mental toughness this year gifted me. This year didn't go as planned, but that isn't all bad. Thank you. Still trying to convince her to become an English teacher and come back to us. <clears throat> Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Mrs. Delgado, what's the over-under time on me crying tonight? Over 20 I'm 20 minutes past. Well, if the poem didn't get you, the musical selection by our senior choir might. So let's welcome them back to the stage for their performance.
I have a small box of tissues if anybody needs it. When we originally planned this event, we talked about honoring the game of baseball at Muzzy and planned for walk-up music for student speeches. And the only one who got back to me on walk-up music is Damani Farrell, who he, who's here tonight to present his class essay, The Last Laugh. And it seems that Damani almost always has the last laugh. First, I want to say hi. And I also want to say happy birthday, Mr. Tresman. I know you're out there somewhere. <laughs> Woo! All right. I guess it's time to read my speech. Good evening. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to welcome all faculty, alumni, friends, family, and distinguished guests to the graduation ceremony of Bristol Central High School. Well, graduates, we made it. As a group, we did indeed start from the very bottom. Now it looks like the whole team is here. Think about how far we have come individually and as a class. Looking back, freshman year seems like it was just yesterday. There was the first football game, the first homecoming, the first girlfriend, the second girlfriend, <laughs> the third girlfriend, and the figuring out that maybe you were the problem. <laughs> Yet our hearts were prepared and we all grew physically and mentally. But our four years at Bristol Central were no walk in the park. We were presented with many challenges and obstacles that we had to overcome. When people said junior year of high school was the worst year, I didn't think they were telling the truth. Junior year, for many of us, brought an experience with the real world that hurt many families, friends, and most importantly, our education, especially mine. I'm not gonna lie, it was tough. Things might not always go the way you plan, but I know we can all agree that this class is resilient. We survived countless snowstorms, exams, COVID, and cafeteria food. <laughs> the fact that we made it here decorated with these awards and accomplishments is just a testament to our perseverance and commitment to excellence. Graduates, you are all destined for greatness and success. Each and every one of you has the potential to make a change in this world. We have all grown from freshman year into powerful intellectual individuals, and here we are now, almost, done with high school. Tables turn, bridges burn, you live and learn. But oftentimes, it's the journey that teaches you about your destination. So, as we part ways, we embark upon the next stage of life sure to be filled with challenges and success. Street poet and philosopher Drake once said, <laughs> guess you lose some and win some, as long as the outcome is income. You know I want it all, and then some. Although the ideal material success does influence our lives, I ask you, class of 2021, that you follow your dreams. <laughs> and do what makes you happy. Fellow peers and faculty, it's been a splendid four years with you. But this is not goodbye forever. This is only goodbye for now. Fly through the turbulence and live life to the fullest because you all are warriors, or should I say rams. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Congratulations, class of 2021.
Yeah. 2021. <laughs> to give her salutatory address, please welcome class of 2021. <laughs> Salutatorian Madison LaPriest. Now this year, because our award ceremony was virtual, I didn't get to present our salutatorian and valedictorian with their medals. So I'm gonna do that. Good evening, students, parents, teachers, class of 2021. In February of 2018, I lost one of my favorite people to ever walk this earth, and eight months later, I almost lost someone in the audience today. I tell you this not to make you feel sorry to me or to add depth to my character, but to show you that I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes the greatest insights on life come from witnessing its departure. If you knew me at all in elementary or middle school, you probably would have known me as the quiet kid. My parents wanted nothing more than for me to loosen up and to quote my father, dumb it down. <laughs> but I never could, at least not until my time here. My high school experience was not defined by my schoolwork, my grades, or even my extracurricular activities. I won't look back in 20 years and remember my GPA down to the last decimal, or maybe I will. <laughs> the part of high school that I'll cherish the most is the camaraderie. I might not be able to recite the ins and outs of stoichiometry or algebra two, but I'll remember the jokes everyone in the class laughed at, no matter what walks of life we were from. I'll remember the quiet moments of solidarity that made Bristol Central feel like a community, whether it be our principals throwing holiday-themed pencils at us during Festivus, or my chemistry class sitting down and playing a game of Uno when there was extra time. Having the support of others is enough to make our inner child feel safe to come out. There's a wonderful irony in my circumstance, being that it took me this long to be young before society begs me to grow up. This coming of age also brings the terrifying monster endearingly named post-secondary plans. This beast haunts the dreams of 17 and 18 year olds across the country. Some of us may be ignoring its loud clamoring, but soon we all have to confront our oncoming adulthood. But fear not, fellow students, I stand here today to offer you a solution to the dilemma of aging. For centuries, societies across the globe have crafted fables and legends surrounding a secret to eternal life, a fountain of youth, if you will. But before I bestow such a secret unto you all, I must tell you about its inspiration. I lost my grandfather, born 76 years ago today, to cancer during the middle of my freshman year of high school. He was one of the best people I've ever known, to put it blunt. To me, what stands out about him the most is his youthful spirit. He always bragged about being a little kid at heart and was playful and kind enough to support such a claim. Perhaps his childlike demeanor was his way of connecting with his only granddaughter. Or maybe it was a true sentiment that kept him alive through 26 years of a debilitating disease. As I age, the more I come to believe in the latter. There are two things that set my grandfather apart from the rest of the world. Two things that, apart from modern medicine, kept him alive for decades after he was supposed to die. These are the same two things that will keep us young, loving wholeheartedly and being brave. The best people I know do both. So I leave you with this, Bristol Central graduates. It's time to grow up, but it's never time to grow old. Love wholeheartedly and have courage, and you will achieve what humanity has always dreamed of. Thank you, and Godspeed, class of 2021. Thank you, Madison. Please welcome Chris Osich to the microphone to deliver his valedictory address, Blessings in Disguise.
Good evening, class of 2021. It is with great honor and gratitude that I speak before you today. I'd first like to thank my parents, without whose continuous love and support, I would not be anywhere near where I am today. I'd like to thank my teachers, coaches, and faculty who have made my high school experience one I will never forget. I'd like to thank Mr. Winninger, who has made these past four years as fun and as memorable as possible. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to thank my older brother, Nick, who has always been an outstanding role model in my life and whose younger brother I'm very proud to be. Ever since he gave the salutatorian speech just three years ago, I made it my goal to stand on the same stage as he did when it came time for me to graduate. And in case you're wondering, Nick, now that I can finally say I finished one rank higher than you, you'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> Four years ago, we all arrived at Bristol Central as confused freshmen in a completely new environment. A whole new building to learn with so many new teachers and students around us. I don't know about you all, but personally, I was pretty scared. I was scared that I wouldn't fit into this new community, that I would have trouble making new friends, that I wouldn't be as close with my teachers as I was in middle school, and that the classes would overwhelm me. Even now, I can safely say that they did overwhelm me here and there. But my fear of not fitting in vanished immediately once I met Mr. Winninger, my ambassadors, and all of my freshman year teachers. I had never before experienced an administration, faculty, and community of students so dedicated to making every single student feel at home. That's what Bristol Central has been for me, a second home and a second family. I could have walked up here tonight and given you all the most pleasant speech you've ever heard, reminiscing on only the wonderful parts of high school pretending that COVID didn't try to ruin these past two years. But this pandemic has taught me something valuable. And as much as I wanted to deliver an uplifting speech, I felt obligated to share my experience with you all. After all, a lesson learned is a lesson worth sharing. Now, this is the part of the speech where I was going to say something nice about having the opportunity to graduate at Muzzy Field. But like everything else we had planned for this year, this speech too had to be changed at the last minute. But that's okay, because now I get to give the speech from the hot, crowded gymnasium at Bristol Central, <laughs> which may not sound great, but I see it as the place where we had our freshman orientation, where we met all our ambassadors. It's where high school began for us. And not getting to graduate in Muzzy is just one of the many things that we've had to sacrifice this year. We've been through so many quarantines, our clubs and sports programs have had to fight some tough battles to stay intact. We've been separated from some of our closest friends and most of us have spent more time this year in front of a laptop than in front of a real teacher. It would be an understatement to say that this has been an abnormal way to end such a fulfilling high school journey. Yet even after all the hardships we've been forced to endure, just so we can walk across this stage tonight, I would not change it for anything. As Kelly Clarkson once said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. No matter what hoops this virus has forced us to jump through, here we are still graduating. After all the loss we've experienced, we've gained something invaluable, a true appreciation for what we have in the present moment. We may not have had the picture-perfect senior year we were all hoping for, but sometimes not getting what we want is a blessing in disguise. Sure, missing the opportunity to wrestle my senior year was heartbreaking and demoralizing, but from that, I learned to never expect anything from life. No matter how hard you work and train for something, no opportunity is ever guaranteed to anyone. And knowing this has made it easier for me to take advantage of the chances I do get. For example, I wrote this speech quarantined in my house when I should have been playing baseball. After playing sports my whole life, it's safe to say I took it for granted. Well, guess what? Not anymore. Like so many of you, COVID has made me appreciate all the little things in life that I used to just expect. Going to school, playing sports, launching water balloons at Mr. Brewer, pretty much everything. Honestly, it's embarrassing to think that it took a whole pandemic to realize this, but I couldn't be more grateful. First, I'm grateful for my health and the health of all my loved ones. And second, if we never had the opportunity 
to experience this catastrophe, who knows how long it would have taken me or any of you to take a step back and appreciate life. COVID has tried its best to ruin our senior year, and I'm sure for some of you, it has. But regardless of how you feel about this year, you're here now, you made it. If we as a class can manage to get through a worldwide pandemic, I wholeheartedly believe that we can endure anything that life throws at us. No matter what challenge any of you face in the future, I know for a fact that you'll get through it. When you think about it, we've learned a lot from COVID. By keeping us separated, it has brought us closer together than ever before. By forcing us to hide our faces, it has taken off the mask many of us already wore. And by taking what we cherish most, it has given us something more valuable than anything we could ever learn in a classroom. It was Daniel Egger who said, change is neither good nor bad. It creates different situations, and that difference is what we have to understand, embrace, and explore as an opportunity. COVID has changed the lives of each and every one of us. And although we may not be able to control the pandemic itself, we can control how we react to it. And the sooner we accept and embrace it, the sooner we can all learn and grow from it. I hope that in 10 or 20 years, when you all reflect on your high school days, you don't remember how some virus made you miserable. I want you all to remember the best parts of high school, the new feeling of independence, the, re the relationships you made, the lives you changed, the Ram Mountain at the 20 degree football games, all the little things that add up to be much more memorable than a virus. I know that's what I'm going to remember. The family who would do anything for me, just as I would for any of you. Congratulations to you all, and I wish you all the best in life. Thank you. I'd like to invite class officers Isabella Crandall, Emma Quintero, and Christine Adel to the podium to announce a class gift. I'd like to start by thanking you all for being here. I'd also like to thank Mr. Winninger, Mr. Sinatra, and Mr. Broderick for everything they've done for us this year. Finally, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Mr. Greenleaf and Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. Collins for making every event possible for our high school career. To show our gratitude, we would like to now present our gift from the class of 2021. Guys, I said 2021. Come on. Oh, so it's time. All right. I'd like to invite my assistant principal. Mr. Broderick to the podium to begin the presentation of the class, A through K. Christy, you're, oh, hi. We're, it's A through K first, so you're gonna be a while, so relax. <laughs> she had a long morning in that chair, too. Class of 2021. Are you ready? Here we go. Christopher Osuch. Madison Lynn Laprice. Isabella Young Crandall. Emma Lee Quintero.
Christine Elizabeth Adel. Jeremy Delipi. Lillian Elizabeth Wasta. Damani Jaheem Farrell. Damani Charlie Huff. Rosalie Beatrice Airy. DeAndre Giovan Alessandro Butler. Joshua Nell Carasquillo. Caitlin Marie Hamill. Jillian Teresa Jacino. Garrett Douglas Kehoe Plord. Sarah Grace Keller. Teresa Rose Kenny. Joshua Caden Laterno. <laughs> Bodie Mohawk Miller. <laughs> Sierra Nicole Narvison. <laughs> Douglas Charles Sato. Maggie Mary Chaplin. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Tabak. <laughs> Yatsil Torres Valentin. <laughs> Devora Louise Tressman. Deidre Alnas. <laughs> Jacob Mark Aldi. <laughs> Alexia Lee Alexander. <laughs> Grace Elizabeth Allen. Dominic Michael Amara. Christopher Arango. Devin Luis Astacio. Camille Catherine Adel. Rich William Aubin. Orlando Baldwin. Jacoby Alexander Banks. Janessa Lee Bartell. Jaden Giovanna Bauer. Matthew Vitek 
Bokar. Andrew Joseph Bollier. Jacob Matthew Bollier. Nicole Beltre Marmalejos. Christopher Anthony Bologna Jr. Rose Marie C. Borges. Salvatrice Isabella Bosco. Jacob Aaron Boucher. Aya Brahimi. Alexander Brand. Gregory Thomas Brewer. Damian David Brown. Xavier Bryant Brown. Abigail Faith Calfee. Gabriella Calfee. Kaylee Grace Calman. Aisha Marie Camacho. Skylar Lynn Campbell. Eric Cardenas. Jonathan Marcelo Cardenas Nazareno. Brandon Tyler Carey. Presley Carmen. Adam Christopher Karen. Jocelyn Anika Carasquillo. Kayleen Marie Cartagena. Tyler Michael Casile. <laughs> Chiara Sarasoli. <laughs> Sean William Chapman. <laughs> Mia Rose Clements. <laughs> Haley Jacqueline Clinton. <laughs> Noah Everett Collins. <laughs> Damian Lee Conrad.
Christian Alexi Correa. Sean Michael Costello. Isaiah Vincent Cruz. Camille Rose Cullison. Trinity Sear. Janelle Rose D. Emanuel. Melanie Mina Dam. Jessica Taylor D'Angelo. Uyen Trang Dao. Olivia Teresa Darby. Nate Matthew D'Angelo. George Louis De Jesus. Alondra Michelle Del Valle Figueroa. Adriana Marie De Leon. Leah Delgado Reyes. Hannah Olivia Denotes. Kaylee Suzanne Dion. Alex Jeremy Daljap. Ailey Alexis Driscoll. Annie Christine Drysdale. Shannon Jean Duffy. Victoria Vera Duque. Matthew Claude Duquette. McKenna Alice Duquette. Skylar Duval. Emily Jessica Erickson. Katrina Marie Figueroa. Jennifer Nicole Fomenko. Dominic Parker Ford. Austin Hunter Frev. Alexa Elizabeth Furness. <laughs> Nija Monet Gaskin.
Alex Peter Goodrow. Lily Kathleen Gibson. Jalen Gladden Hines. Daniel Marie Goff. Naomi Mary Gomez. Nathaniel Blaze Gomez. Alexis Lismarie Gonzalez. Damian Ray Gordillo. Elena Joy Gouin. Genesis Mercedes Grant. Lily Marie Hansen. Kevin Thomas Harris. Emma Marie Hosman. Tamia Alexis Hurd. Marissa Amber Heller. Chelsea Leilani Hernandez. Caitlin Elizabeth Hildebrand. Cole Joseph Hogan. Logan Andrew Holtz. Scott Patrick Poole. Dylan Michael Hudson. Thomas Huggard. Josiah Jackson. Kiara Stephanie Jacobs. Orlina Altagracia Jimenez. Passion Jimenez. Jesse Orion Johnson. Jasmine Jones. Nicholas Jones the third. Somanin Kiev. Tristan Nicholas Kainblom. Emily Nicole King. Sebastian Kostruski.
Aiden Paul Kowalczyk. Sadie Quinn Kowalczyk. And here is Mr. Sinatra with the rest. Morgan Jean Labby. Destiny Jade Legassi. Belinda Lagunes. Logan Ross LaJoy. Suani Cecilia Larios. Chanel Lee. Sarai Leonardo Marble. Jeremy Lisiaga. Jessin Lin. Kelsey Marie Lincoln. <laughs> Colton Jack Latwinzik. <laughs> Rayana Renee Long. <laughs> Antonio Freddy Lopez. Brisa Itzel Lopez Zaragoza. <laughs> Michael James Lorenzetti. <laughs> Adam Thomas Losacano. Jenna Nicole Lowe. <laughs> Anthony Michael Luzmore. <laughs> Nicholas Alexander Madigan. <laughs> Patrick Simon McCooch. Matthew Robert Mark Antonio. Matthew Allen Martin. Malachi Matthews. Joshua Robert Maley. Caitlin Nicole Mayo. <laughs> Kayla Lee Medina. <laughs> Derek Melendez. <laughs> Lexi May Mashad. Emma Rose Sipa Milano. James Andrew Earl Mills.
Juliana Noel Mizluk. Jason Paul Moncton. Mackenzie Monroe. Eliza Maureen Morin. Tamaya April Morris. Noah Joseph Morrison. Nathan Christian Morton. Keegan Wayne Nadu. Roberto Josue Negron Cruz. Peter Paul Nijelski. Elijah Mustafa Nordgren. Marcos Orlando Ocasio. Adrian Ortiz. John Marcos Ortiz. Jovan Paloka. <laughs> Stephen Pan. <laughs> Christian Andrew Paradis. <laughs> Avery Parks. Emily Diane Passamano. Cesar Alejandro Peralta Herrera. Junelli Perez. Ramon Anthony Peters. <laughs> Kaylee Ray Peterson. <laughs> Samantha Lee Plord. Joseph Gage Picorni. <laughs> Keon Polk. <laughs> Natalia Katajena Poplars. Destiny Naomi Lynn Potter. <laughs> Anastasia Hope Patak. <laughs> Acacia Lee Quinones. <laughs> Casey Alfred Quirion. Ethan Marshall Reed. Morgan James Reed.
Isaiah Elijah Reyes. Dominic Anthony Rinaldi. Caitlin Elizabeth Rivera. Jasmine Rivera Pelletier. Ayana Raylene Rodriguez. Elijah Edward Rodriguez. Jomar Colon Rodriguez. Crystal Shania Rodriguez. Sean Lewis Rodriguez. Tiffany Rodriguez. Elianis Jeanette Rosado Colorado. Deontay Devon Ross. Jasmine Elizabeth Ruiz. Sharon Noelia Ruiz Rivera. Sebastian Rutkowski. Hadra Sajid. Bailey Rosita Salguero. Jacob Angel Primo Salinas. Austin Michael Salzillo. Jonathan Sanchez. Fernando Arturo Santana. Kiara Ashley Marie Santo. Benjamin Sanzone. Isaac Lee Sanzone. DJ Shasha. Evan Sean September. Madison Ray Sheridan. Justin Philip Samard. Dree Simons. Samantha Ann Slavinsky. Brooke Elizabeth Susi. Kayla Christina St. Ange. Emma Jackie Stepina. Emma Jean Stone.
Carol Elise Chagru. Tiara Sunderland. Bryant Ty. Richard Allen Thomas. Gwyneth Olivia Tereso. Emma Teresa Toth. <laughs> Kenneth Long Tran. <laughs> Liza Rosa Vargas. <laughs> Caitlin Edith Vasquez. Madison Isabella Velasquez. Anthony Michael Veronese. Ella Patricia Ward. Lauren Alyssa Warner. Xavier Joseph Welch. Sean Michael Winninger. Raina Nicole Wosolevitz. Philip Justin Weiskull. <laughs> Nicholas Vincent Yankoski. <laughs> Olena Yatsechko. <laughs> and Christy Alexis Yurko. We'll wait, Christy. We'll wait. Hold on. With the class of 2021, please rise. from right to left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present the class of 2021.
Mr. A, before you strike up the band, I would only ask that all of the uh, fans, parents, etc., who are here tonight, allow the graduates to exit first before you come out of the stands, please, so that we can get them out cleanly, safely outside. There'll be plenty of area to congregate outside. Mr. A, strike it up. <laughs> 